I asked Tim this as well as Eddie. Uh oh. There's so much we can do. I mean, this is so exciting. With Apple Silicon, it kind of appears that you guys have been prepping it for many years in the background because we've got support mm -hmm. from the M1. Was that always part of the plan? This is the very early stages. It's like there's so much exciting stuff coming and we're just gonna continue to, to push and evolve. The rollout of Apple Intelligence, what have been the challenges of that rollout? The MacBook Air does not have the M4 version. Guys, thank you for being on the channel. It's lovely oh, to have thanks, you. Thanks for, for having, having us. us, yeah. So the first question I ask all my guests, I asked Tim this as well as Eddie. Uh oh. It's around daily drivers, right? So it's the devices that you use every day, the ones that are your go-tos. So, Charles, we'll start with you. iPhone, Mac, and iPad. Well, I use them all, you know I, that. Of course. Uh, I have my 16 Pro Max, I like the big screen, as my iPhone. Uh, Macs, I use different ones for different places, right? So I use my iMac as my home computer. Okay. I have a Mac Studio uh, on my work, at my desk, but then I use my MacBook Pro for pretty much everything. Uh, not just in between, really. I mean, I still even use it at my, yeah. at my desk often. My iPad, I, I love the new iPad Pro. Incredibly thin. Uh, and again, it's such an easy thing to take with you. Uh, and the keyboard now is absolutely super cool. Uh, did I miss any? What did you? Uh, did yeah, I, yeah. I think, yeah. And I'm loving the new off. AirPods 4. Okay. But I also love the new hearing features. We have an AirPods yeah. Pro 2. So now I'm carrying literally both of those, okay. uh, which is pretty cool. Cool. And John, same I, question to you. Similar. I use them you so many things. I've I got know. 16 Pro is my phone. The uh, okay, Pro, so not Max. Yeah, so I'm the, the, the Pro. Yeah, yeah, okay. yeah. We always I'm have a big that. Fan we always that, have that the, discussion. The yeah. one. The, uh, Which is why he was glad the 5X came I was, to, I was very yeah, glad the, the 5X Zoom. came to the 16 yeah. Pro. Uh, on the Mac side, I literally use an iMac, a Mac Studio a MacBook Air and a MacBook Pro almost every day. Yeah, okay. uh, yeah. <laughs> yeah like everything. Yeah. Yeah. And the iPad Pro and now yeah. iPad Mini too. So yeah, it's yeah. kind of everything. Okay. I mean, that's kind of that's what we do, yeah, right? It's it's like, <laughs> we, have to, we have to, but we get to, right? Yeah, yeah. It's like, what a, what a job that we get to use yeah. these computers that we love, these devices that we love, and, uh, and even more importantly, our, our users love them, so. Totally. Of course. Now we've had lots of uh, devices announced well, over the past few days with yeah. the M4s, and everything has been built for Apple Intelligence, mm -hmm. but uh, the rollout of Apple Intelligence has kind of been a little bit staggered, mm. uh, and it, we're still gonna be expecting other features soon. What have been the challenges of that rollout? Well, you know, we've always said we ship features when they're ready, right? So we wanted to give people a, kind of a, a little bit bigger picture view when we first announced this at WWDC in June, but we said we're going to roll these features out you know, over time, uh, we're going to roll languages out, we're going to roll countries out uh, because we ship those features when they're ready and, and we're right on course, right? We're, we've shipped the first batch this week. We'll have more features coming out uh, later this year. We'll have more versions of U localized English coming out beyond just the U.S. Uh, later this year. We'll have more languages coming early next year. We talked about even uh, coming to the EU, which was people have been wondering about. But this is something that we're going to continuously have a drumbeat of things that we can, you know, continue to bring out. Out, and there's so much we can do. I mean, this is so exciting as the things that we can bring to our users uh, with Apple Intelligence. It's gonna, it's gonna be mind blowing. Cool. Looking forward to it. Now, with Apple Silicon, it kind of appears that you guys have been prepping it for many years in the background because mm -hmm. we've got support mm -hmm. from the M1. Was that always part of the plan? Was was Apple Intelligence always in mind? I think the the fundamentals of of AI and machine learning have been a part of our system for a really long time, right? Years when we added years, the Apple so. Neural Engine, and of course we brought it to, to M1 and, mm -hmm. and all of those. So yeah, we've been building this foundation because we've been leveraging these technologies through the operating system for years. And of course, generative AI is like a next level thing that we can add on top of it. So it's all kind of continues to build. But as Jaws said, this is the very early stages. It's like there's so much exciting stuff coming and we're just going to continue to, to push and evolve. Yep. Now, I noticed, and some of the followers noticed, that the MacBook Air does not have the M4 version. We've got double the unified memory, which is great. Can you talk a little bit about that? The, the M4, not the M MacBook Air. Oh yet. man, we're here to celebrate such amazing stuff today. Uh, <laughs> you know, look, the M4 is gonna be fantastic for the MacBook Pros, uh, and of course the Minis and the iMacs, and you know, we'll see what the future holds. <laughs> okay. Good answer. All right, 24 hours on the MacBook Pro. I mean, I use my MacBook Pro pretty much every day yeah. and the battery life is really good. It's killer, right? It is. Yeah. And yeah. to extend that even further, yeah. is it a larger battery or is it just the efficiency of the M4? 
It's efficiency. It's all about efficiency, right? And uh, I think that's the, the cool thing is our silicon team, that's been their primary focus from the very beginning, right? Starting with phones yeah. and carrying it through iPad and, and Mac is all about efficiency and performance per watt. And as, as that gets better, everything gets better. Battery life gets better. The amount of energy we're using from an environmental standpoint goes down. Like it's just a win-win. I think I've got time for maybe one more question. So this is a personal question in terms of the Apple intelligence feature that you now use every day, oh, which wow. you can't wow. live without. You know, when you get used to something, yeah, like, totally. how is it? So we'll, well I will tell you, I use, I use Apple intelligence and honestly, more times I can count a day. Okay. Uh, but being a marketing guy, I write a lot of words. Okay. Uh, and uh, sometimes, I gotta be honest, I either think faster than I type or I type faster than I think one of them's out of sync. Uh, <laughs> and so sometimes I'd send stuff off and I'd read it later and I'm like, man, I left out a word or some punctuation yeah. or whatever. And I've just now become in love with just even proofreading. It's mm. like I write something, it's so easy, you know, I select it, up pops the little glyph for, you know, for the writing tools, I choose proofread. Boom. Or sometimes I'm like, you know, I was maybe in a mood when I wrote that and uh, let me make that a little friendlier or sometimes I was a little too relaxed. Like, let me make this a little professional. I use it all the time. I use so many other features, but that's one I, if you want my go-to, that's the writing tool is my go-to. Cool. And yourself, Jeff? I think for me, I, I spend a lot of time in the Photos app. I love photography and I think the, the cleanup tool is just so much fun and the, um, and the search capabilities. That's oh, yeah, like yeah, the, yeah. the natural language search or your photo library. Because we all now have these massive, massive photo libraries. It's like, oh, when did I take that picture? Or where was I? It's really powerful to be able to just type it in and get the yeah. answer. It's cool. Yeah. Awesome. Well, thanks, guys. Now, I have a little something for all my guests that I have on the channel. Uh -huh. I gift them a pair of sunglasses. However, I wasn't, I'll be honest, I wasn't expecting this interview. Uh, so I only bought one pair, but- well, I already got glasses. You've got glasses. So, oh, so, so, so obviously it's gotta go But I will, ship, I will ship over a pair <laughs> okay. to you. So. I'll send you my prescription. There you go, uh, so. <laughs> oh, look at you that. You can't do honestly. Wow. Yeah. Oh, that's Maybe awesome. We're in LA, so, you know, perfect excuse for wearing sunglasses. Oh, that's oh. awesome. I love awesome. yours, by the way. Thank you. Quite the trademark. Yeah. I know. <laughs> so yeah. They, they always have to be on, otherwise yeah. people will be like, who is this who guy? Is that guy? So yeah. I have to do it. But well, thank you guys. Really appreciate pleasure. your time. Awesome. Huge thank, you. Thank, thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Yeah. Thank you.